Hey there, have you had a chance to check out the latest season of Loki on Disney Plus? It's been quite a ride, and the first episode came with a post-credits scene that's got fans buzzing. Let me fill you in on what it could mean for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and why a seemingly random location like Broxton, Oklahoma, is actually quite significant. In the premiere episode of Loki Season 2, we find Sylvie in a bit of a quandary. She's trying to figure out the consequences of her actions, particularly what happened after she pushed he who remains through that time door. But that's not all, Loki is dealing with some time-slipping issues of his own, bouncing back and forth between the past and the present. Now, let's talk about that intriguing post-credits scene. Sylvie, after the main credits roll, lands in a field in Broxton, Oklahoma, circa 1982. After a bit of exploration, she stumbles upon a local McDonald's and has a humorous exchange with the cashier about her food preferences. It's a poignant moment when she gazes at families and friends enjoying their meals, expressing her desire to try everything. But why is Broxton, Oklahoma, important? Well, in the Marvel comics, Broxton became a significant location in 2007's Thor No. 1. Thor, after his rebirth, brought Asgard to Earth and suspended it above this small town, creating a unique connection between the Asgardians and the folks in Broxton. It was a peaceful coexistence until the 2010 siege event, when Loki teamed up with Norman Osborn and the Dark Avengers to attack Asgard. Loki had ambitions of becoming its ruler once Osborn captured it. However, things took a dark turn. Osborn ordered the destruction of Asgard, leading to a showdown between Loki and the unstable powerhouse known as the Sentry. In this battle, Loki was defeated and torn apart eventually leading to their death and resurrection as Kid Loki. So, what could this all mean for the MCU? It's still early to say definitively, but it's unlikely that the inclusion of Broxton, Oklahoma, is a mere coincidence. Could this hint at Loki's return to villainy? Might the Sentry make an appearance in the MCU, potentially in the rumored Thunderbolts film? We'll have to keep watching Loki Season 2 on Disney Plus to unravel the mysteries and see how this intriguing connection to Broxton, Oklahoma, plays out in the larger Marvel Universe. It's definitely an exciting time to be a Marvel fan.